So in this video, I'm gonna walk through my form, what was going through my head on every single attempt, which was over 20 attempts before I actually made it clean and kind of just break things down, go over what was good, what could have been better, and ultimately why it worked or why it did not work. Now this was incredibly intimidating for me. At the time, it was the most challenging thing I've ever attempted on my bike. Just riding up to a vertical concrete wall with that sharp kind of steel lip on the edge, it was a little scary. I knew I could do it, it was just, getting over that fear and trying enough times, nailing the form down and getting a feel for everything so that I could make it over and ride it out. I think that was a reasonable first attempt. Yeah. I think with more speed, it's doable. Oh, I, I broke it though. I just needed more speed and I probably could have had it. But that's like, that's, that's, that's the scariest thing I've ever tried. <laughs> So here we have my first attempt, which really wasn't much of an attempt at all. It was more just a run up to see how the bike and my body and the kicker would react to uh, trying to get up. I'll be honest, I was pretty terrified this first try, but as you see, I had a bunch of my friends around and they were uh, cheering me on. And I mean, I couldn't back out at this point, right? So this second try actually really wasn't too bad of a try at all. I think the biggest issue was I didn't really have much commitment and my forward momentum was not high enough to pop the bike all the way over. So it kind of just hit the wall, climbed a little vertical, but then stopped and there was no way I was going to be able to get it over the ledge. This one was an obvious complete dud. It looks like the little cinder block kicker thing moved and actually pretty much stopped my rear wheel from going forward because it got kicked up by the front tire. So we'll skip past this one. Here, I wasn't staying very centered on the bike. I may have pulled one of the sides of the handlebars a little too hard, which kind of caused me to lean over. However, this was the first time that I got the bike up onto the ledge where I didn't fall backwards. So we're making some progress. Okay, this one here was actually good in some ways, but also very bad in some ways. Uh, you can tell I have very good compression on my legs right at the start. You can see all that dirt getting kicked up. I had really good grip and traction, which shot me forward into the wall. However, once I start going up the wall, you can see I lean to the left yet again, and I didn't throw my hips forward to the bars at all, which pretty much means I'm gonna bounce off. And this one did result in a pretty fun crash and a half bike flip, which I thought was hilarious. I think a lot of the people were thinking, okay, he's done after this one. Like the bike just did half a flip. There's no way he's gonna try again. Well, they were wrong. Again, I'm not sure why I kept going to the left, but it happened. A lot of it was probably just nerves and trying not to whiskey throttle, which caused me to just pull harder on my left hand. A reasonable attempt. I'm kind of over the fear at this point of banging up the bike or myself. This is the first one where we really start to see me able to track the rear wheel up the wall. But unfortunately, I threw my weight back way too soon. Um, I did get the hips forward, but you see shifting the weight back too soon. You get all traction, but you don't get any control of the bike and the front end just wants to keep going up. And here we go, the first one where I make it up without falling off the bike or crashing. But I was not gonna take this one as a win because I put my foot down and it just was not very clean. And I got my hips pretty far forward to the bars. The bike's nice and vertical. You can see that rear tire squish just really holding traction. So I had the momentum pretty good going into the wall, which helped a lot. Uh, body position just still wasn't quite there though. I didn't throw my weight back and ended up putting that right foot down, which kind of threw me off balance, but ultimately helped me get up and over the wall. <laughs> At this point, I'm getting really lazy with my body and I'm not quite getting the, the timing of the clutch pop uh, in my momentum correctly. So this one here is actually probably my best attempt so far. Uh, my body positioning was a lot better. I got my hips forward. I threw my weight back closer to the right time, but then I tried to move my hips forward again. And you can see that wheel spinning right on the edge, almost making it over clean but the tire just wants to spin. 
And I think a lot of that's due to my body weight. I kind of threw my weight up and forward as opposed to holding it back to put all that weight on the rear wheel to get traction. But again, it was an attempt that went pretty well. I made it up, but I wasn't accepting it. Now here's the first one where I didn't put a foot down before my bike was completely over. So this was another milestone. Uh, I had a pretty good clutch pop, lots of momentum going into it. Got my hips forward, but see, I kind of let the seat bounce my butt up instead of holding it back, which just threw me off balance, sprung me way out of whack. But I did a nice little drift at the top, so it was pretty cool. And another one here where just not quite enough commitment, didn't really go in with enough momentum or use body positioning well enough. And yet again, I really failed at throwing my weight back, which ironically makes you fall back because you don't get any traction to the rear wheel to actually bring you forward. It feels weird as hell when you throw your weight back like you're gonna fall off, but it honestly does help a lot. Another pretty good attempt here, I unfortunately stalled the bike at the top, which caused me to lose my balance a little bit and put my foot down. Again, my weight not being put back too much, but I did get the hips really far up to the bars which just helped accelerate that bike over. And then it kind of gave me room to push the bike over the last little bit. A couple more attempts here, nothing too special or worthy of talking about. Kind of the same old thing, lack of body position, not quite the right amount of forward momentum going into it. I just couldn't get that rear tire to hook up and uh, go over. So I just kept landing on my linkage and skid plate quite a few times. But here we go, we're getting down to the last few tries and we're finally gonna start to see some real progress here. Uh, this one made it up, but I'm like, oh no, oh no, that's not it. But this next one, I'm definitely gonna get it. came in here just with the right mindset. I really focused on compressing my legs and getting my weight forward. You can see my hips are all the way up to the bars. Uh, I had a perfect amount of forward momentum and it just pops over like nothing. It actually surprised me how clean, easy, and smooth everything went. I was barely on the throttle coming over the ledge. I kind of rode a wheelie out a little bit, which was awesome. Overall, I was super happy with this attempt. My form wasn't perfect. Uh, I didn't get my butt back. I like kind of barely got it back, but then also let the seat kick me up. But I had enough forward momentum from the start that the bike was able to compress the suspension and before it rebounded, it popped over the wall. It wasn't the cleanest attempt, but I'm definitely glad I made it over. I didn't put a foot down and I called it a day after that. Oh wait, no, no, I didn't call the day. I thought I'd go for two in a row, and then this happened. Oh Dewey, you're a great guy. Your your skills. If I ever compete in trials, I'm calling you, and we're gonna you're gonna be my spotter. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> Damn! <laughs>